Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm back solving the third um, scene in Factory IO. This one was a little bit um, confusing just because it wasn't clear how they set it up. So this is the third one. It's filling tank timers. And basically they want you to fill a tank using timers. But what they give you is this tank and there's a fill button and a discharge button and then like a uh, timer clock but I couldn't figure out how to display onto the clock because um, when I go to drivers this is the timer right but I can't like drag it over anywhere to uh, connect with the PLC program I'm not sure how to display there, and also they, they set it up like where the discharge is um, normally closed and the fill button is normally open, which is kind of weird. And once you run the program, it would automatically start filling it without even pressing a button. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how these work yet. I haven't figured out like what these are for um, completely, but I got to work. I programmed some stuff. And I also just talk about that. Sorry if I mumble a little bit. I have my retainer in. I do mumble. I do mumble regardless. But okay, so let's run it. So the way I interpret this, interpreted this program and set it up is, if you press the fill button, then it'll fill for five seconds and then stop. And if you press the discharge button, it'll empty it for five seconds and then stop. I'm not sure if that's what was intended for the for the scene, but that's what I did. I mean, I used timers, and um, yeah, and you can change the the time that it fills and empties in the code. But yeah, so I'll just sample it. Press it once, and it'll fill for five seconds, and stop, and then discharge. Charge for five seconds. And yeah, and you can fill it twice and discharge twice. It works uh, if you want to do that. Um, but yeah, for the code, um, this is the timer. So basically, if you press the fill button, it activates this timer and it's set up for five seconds right now. And then once the five seconds are up, this will this T1 variable I guess will activate and it'll close the T1 switch here which resets the timer back to zero and the T1 timer will also open this normally closed switch which will cut off the fill valve and also the fill um, the fill button when you press it here it will um, start filling and this is when you press the discharge button it'll stop filling uh, same idea for the, the discharge timer. Um, whenever the, oh, I forgot to mention, whenever the, oh, this is not for the fill valve button. This is for the fill valve itself. So when the tank is actually filling, then this um, starts a timer. Because you want to start the timer once um, it starts filling. Right, so yeah. So yeah, you press the fill button on the on the, the panel, and this will activate the fill valve, which then activates the fill valve here. It's the same thing, and then it enables the timer. Um, yeah, sorry, I got that mixed up. Uh, yeah, same idea for the discharge. You press the discharge button, which is set up in factory I/O as normally closed, I guess. So I have to make it a normally closed switch. Um, a connection here. So you press that, then it activates um, the discharge valve, which will start this and start the timer for the discharge valve. And you can change the the timer value. I know it's set to five seconds. You can change that pretty easily. Um, yeah. And then what else is there? Oh yeah, so this, yeah, again, this is, uh, once this turns on after the five seconds, 
it'll turn this on to reset the um, timer. So I can let's example that, example that right now. Oh, actually, it's not showing. Sorry about that. Sorry to technical difficulties. Let me just uh, write back into the PLC real quick. The cyan lights, indicator lights, are not there for some reason. Not sure what I did. Okay. What did I do? Try this one more time. Did the exact same thing, maybe it'll work this time. The definition of insanity. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it does work. Okay, I don't know what that was about. But um, yeah, so you can just watch how the timer works, I guess. So when I press this, it'll build the valve, turning this on. Five seconds will go, count up to five, and then the timer one will. Now it stopped working. That was that's bad. Oh my god, it froze. Come on, come back to me. Come back on me. Just trying to go to bed. Oh, okay, there we go. I don't know how that affected the recording, but hopefully not too badly. All right, so I'm gonna just take a sample, show you the time, how the timer works. So I'm gonna press the fill button, which will activate this, it's activating this, and then five seconds will count up, activating this, which will activate this, and reset the timer. Oy vey. Pause, I guess. Yeah, start counting up. I mean, it's the farm to configure, configuring that, and then resetting the timer. Um, I think that's the, the gist of it. Um, am I missing anything? Yeah, and I guess um, the buttons on the control panel. So when you. Oh, not again. Laptop is struggling. My PC is too expensive to buy. All right. Um, yeah. So what was, as I was saying, I think um, yeah, these are the the panel, the buttons on the panel. So if you press the discharge um, button, it'll open this up, stopping the filling part. If you press the fill button, it'll open this up, stopping the discharge. So yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know much about... Oh. Alright, I need, I need to just end it. Let's see what's up. I'm just gonna end the video. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, hopefully, the recording on my laptop freezing didn't mess anything up. But yeah, thank you, guys.